Alright guys, welcome to another Apex Legends video, and today me and Holler are going to be showing you some of the new leaks, but before we get into that, we would like to ask you guys to subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment about literally anything, we just talk to people in the comments at this point, it's just a chat feed for us, and uh, like the video, Holland, anything else? Guys, listen, a little heart to heart between me and you the audience. You already know we're going to be one of the biggest channels out there. We say it over and over and our numbers keep going up. We have two videos over 200 views. A week ago, we didn't even have a single video with 100 views, right? People are coming to the channel. You're going to want to be here right at the beginning so you can flex on all your friends. And we have millions of subs. And you know, if you're dedicated like the Auk Train, we want to play games with you. We want to get involved with you. So... Make sure you click that subscribe button and notification bell. All right. So with that being said, we're going to hop right into the leaks and we're going to start off with the Rampart leaks along with the graffiti mod that goes with him slash her. Don't know yet. It's a leak. So, but if you guys have looked at the season four skin for the flatline, you'll see a small logo that has an R in the center of it. And that has come back again with the Season 5 Wingman skin. And then if you take a look at the Graffiti mod, the same logo appears again. Meaning there's some correlation. Obviously they're trying to hint at something, otherwise they wouldn't keep putting it on things. And a lot of people have been digging into things, data mining. And it's kind of been a given now that most likely that's Rampart's logo. Because Rampart has a told to be having a passive that would make LMGs have higher magazines and faster reload speed. And that is exactly what this hop-up does and also has the R logo on it, meaning that most likely this would be Rampart's mod or a passive that is just being leaked as a mod. You guys might be wondering, what is the graffiti mod? Well, we do have exactly what it does. The graffiti mod gives plus 15% ammo size, plus 25% reload time, and makes change fire mode switch the paintball color it fires. So this attaches to the Spitfire, and it is leaked into this build from next patch. Um, so dev comments will be about season 6 on it, and it's really interesting because, as said, the Rampart passive uh, could make LMGs have a higher magazine and faster reload speed, and it's definitely happened before where we have seen things uh, like skins and such with a different character's name or a logo on them, such as Watt, uh, an alternator skin having Watson's name on it. And what we're looking at here, most likely the graffiti mod whole paintball mode, is probably going to be a thing like Revenant being leaked, where they had the Halloween mode before Revenant came out. Most likely they're going to do the same thing, and they're going to have a cool game mode of paintball, and that's going to be the teaser for Rampart because the leak showed that the paintball mode was supposed to be put in the game in place of Armed and Dangerous that's going on right now, but the files weren't completed in time and the final files weren't put into this patch, so they just switched it out with Armed and Dangerous, a game mode they've already made. So most likely in the next month or two, we're going to have the limited time paintball game mode added. So, I do want to say, an official dev has commented on this R. Um, at Lodeca tweeted saying, Hey, I've seen this R symbol on a few skins now, does it mean anything? So, Tom Cassiello, who is an Apex dev, replied and said everything means something. So, this is definitely intended, the devs are pushing it out there. Um, and as for the paintball event specifically, we know it's happening because there's so much um, of the code which I'll put on the screen now that you can see about the pop-up, about the fire mode paint, and then here in a second we will show you guys paintball sound effects which have also been leaked and do sound a little weird. I would not listen to them without headphones around a large group <laughs> of people. <laughs> that is true, that is true. They do kind of sound like what you think it sound like. So, in four, three, two, one, here are the paintball sound effects. So now that you guys have heard those, 
I mean, it's obvious this game mode is coming. The graffiti models are related to it, and it seems Rampart is related to that. All three of these things are just tied together, it seems. And we all know, coming from Tom, if he comments on something and says something like that, that's because he's not able to talk about it. Because he's tweeted multiple times that he is so excited about the story, about the leaks, about everything. He wants these things to come out. He doesn't want them to be leaked because that removes all the surprise. But he really wants to talk about these things, and if he had the option to, he would. So if he's replying to people talking about these symbols, saying cryptic things like that, it's because that's the only option he has, and he's basically telling us flat out, yeah, those mean something. Yeah, we're going to be talking about it soon. Because if it wasn't something coming soon, he just would ignore it. He wouldn't say anything. So this is definitely leaning toward it being the Rampart logo. We've seen a few things with Rampart um, in the files about how Rampart might not even be his name, but that is how the community knows him right now. And the possibility um, of a shield, which I will put on the screen, but the issue with it right now is either a ballistic or riot shield, but in the files it doesn't seem to be related to a specific tactical ability. So that's up in the air, and one of the files in game um, where you can kind of see a picture of what Rampart would look like, he has a shield behind him, but whenever it comes to that area of things, it's all very uh, confusing, and a lot of people aren't sure what to think there. Yeah, we've had a lot of misleadings through naming files and things, as originally there was a character named Nomad, and people saw pictures of Revenant and just linked to those two together, thinking they were the same when they weren't. And right now, people are going back and forth on whether these images they're seeing are Rampart, or if it's the other character named Jericho. They've both had the names put in the files at some point. People are kind of just trying to match names with pictures of what they think might match. So, no name is ever confirmed until they come out. Same as with a lot of characters that have been leaked. They almost never keep the same name that's in the files. They always get changed right before release to keep it a surprise. Rampart might be one of the few that does keep this name just because of the R logos. If these are actually related, um, it would make sense because Rampart does start with an R. Yeah. But, unless we got anything more to add, I think it's time to wrap it up. All right, so guys, you heard it here first. You saw all the leaks. You know we're dedicated to bringing these to you guys. So go ahead, make sure you subscribe so you can see all the leaks that we're going to be dropping over the next weeks, months, years. Till this game's dead, we'll be showing you everything we can as soon as possible. Because we want you guys excited for this game and we want this player base ready for anything and ready to keep playing till the day it dies. So with that being said, hope you guys subscribe, hit the like button, Hit the notification bell. Leave us some comments. Talk to us about what you think about the logo. Tell us what you think it is. Anything you want to talk about. Colin, anything to add before we head out? Always, guys. It is my job. Click that subscribe button. Click the like button. Share the video with your friends. I cannot stress it enough. That is very important to us, and we appreciate it so much, guys. And with that, we'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you have a good one.